Hey, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Hey, listen, shout out to all 14,000 subscribers and counting. I truly, truly appreciate it to each and every one of y'all for taking time out of your busy schedule to hit the like button to subscribe and support and comment. Hey, listen, let's get straight to the point. What I want you to do is, and I want you to understand this, right? In order to be honest with anybody else, you must first attempt to be honest with yourself. You know, I listened to this clown and speaking about how I reach out to him, how I want to be on his platform. For what, man? I didn't even know who the hell you was. But what I want you to do is I want you to listen to this clip. Okay, this was a while ago, but I want you to listen to this clip and listen to the passion. You know, listen to the passion in this man's voice, how he speak about me, okay? And how he speak about Baby Sam and Delroy. Google these guys. Like, listen to his voice. This is the same cartoon character. Now, he want to flip it around. But once again, man, in order to be honest with anybody else, you got to first attempt to be honest with yourself. And he can't. Do live in a la la land. Just got off the phone with Glaze. Baby Sam actually allegedly had most of Brooklyn fear. Yeah, that's what we that's what me and Glaze gonna talk talk about. Um in Glaze's book, he speaks of Baby Sam and you know Baby Sam's mob being some of the most ferocious gangsters in Brooklyn and shit. One thing about these gangster niggas, they don't like to give each other props. I've noticed that, but um, Baby Sam got a hell of a reputation. I've been told that there was a legendary beef that went on in Brooklyn in the late 80s, early 90s between Baby Sam and Delroy Uzi Edwards. Google his name too, Delroy Uzi Edwards. I know uh, Y'all familiar with who Brian Glaze Gibbs is? Y'all watch Info Minds. Y'all, y'all been listening to him for quite some time now. He seems to be coming. Uh, he seems to be coming one of, I don't know, the internet's favorite narrators. And uh, Glaze got an interesting story. The first ones in Brownsville with the bulletproof baseball hats. Murder and money and murder crew from East New York were the people. Killed a lot. Wait for y'all, man. Some history. Some history. I got a uh, Brian Glaze Gibbs. Man, he gonna appear this week. He might. It, I might upload it tonight. He did. We got a story coming about Baby Sam and shit. I'm about to upload some information about Baby Sam to Instagram as soon as I get up off of here and shit. Make sure y'all follow me on IG, The Real Gully TV. Okay, y'all just heard him in his own voice. And let me let y'all know a little secret. Even when he say, listen, you know, I got this, you know, this piece, and I might drop it tonight. I might upload it and drop it tonight. See, he didn't even have it. We didn't even talk about it. We was talking about doing it, but we never did. But he tried to hit everybody with a 50 fake funk. Like, yo, man, like I should drop that tonight. And once I peeped that, and I know this cartoon character didn't have no type of integrity. That was a turnoff. Yes, listen to the S-H-I-T. He talk about me. I'm illiterate. You know, I'm a killer. Oh, I'm this, I'm that. Call me every name in the book except for the child of God. But guess what? I'm the one that got more integrity than this knucklehead. And that was the reason why I didn't even, I was, I, I backed away completely from that clown. Because if you're going to lie, you know what I'm saying, about something, yeah, you get up and do a fake video and act like, yeah, come an attraction. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And we haven't even conducted the interview. I knew you was full of dog doodle. And that's why I backed. I don't mess with fake people. I hate liars, I hate fake people, and that's who you are. So even with that being said, you know what, man, listen, man, you go ahead, live your life. You know, you want to be this, you know, go ahead, go back to knitting, you know, 
knitting your hats. Okay, start knitting sweater. You know, that's what you need to do. That's what you need to stick with, man. Save all that stuff from, you know, you want to talk about people, about their past. Leave it to people that actually experience that, man. Okay? That's just my personal advice from me to you. You know, you so fascinated about my life, you know, scared to death. Scared to death for what, man? Like I told you, I am not the same person that I once was. I am a whole totally different person, man. But listen, folks, hit the like button, subscribe, share support. And like I say, in order to be honest with anybody else, you have to first attempt to be honest with yourself. Peace, love, and prosperity. One love. You know what I'm saying, man? Young cat trying to get my life together, man. This right here, a lot of knowledge, man. Strong mind. I appreciate it. Big day, big day. Went ahead and got my book. Beyond Lucky. BGG. Brian Glaze Gibbs. Signed autograph copy. Means a lot to me. From my brother. Day one support. Love and prosperity. Right back to you, my boy. My G. My big homie, my brother. Let's get it. Made Media Mafia Magazine exclusive. Mafia Apparel. Making the future in art. Making a difference every day. Still here. Let's get it. Free Meach. Rest in peace, baby blue. Hey, Kelly, what you reading? Oh, man, bro. This is such a good book. Super dope book. Yo, Glaze. I just got to my favorite part of your book. This is Out of Prison as a New Person. So, page 308, May of 1998. That's actually when I had the pleasure of meeting you and we worked together on that 10.30 to 3 a.m. shift, which was crazy. Um, my respect level just went up like 10 more notches for you. So, I knew about your past. I knew about everything that had gone on. But what I didn't know is you were going from $40,000 a day to, I think we were making $12 an hour there in that night shift, something crazy. So for you to be able to have that work ethic of going from slanging easy rocks to slanging heavy packages and uh, working that night shift and just being the positive person you were that whole time and offering encouragement to everybody that worked that shift.